You traitors claiming I'm a Ruski agent, say it to my face and I'll break your nose. I'm sick of it. I will stomp your head in the ground, you traitorous maggots. While we go under Obamacare, North American Union, conquered by European banks, announcing our kids don't belong to us, total bondage, total surveillance, and you want to shoot your mouth off about me being a Ruski agent, I will stomp your head in the ground. And all you ISIS people threatening us, hey, we're not a French newspaper, okay? We got people that have taken your asses out in this building right now. We're armed to the teeth, and we're not scared. You got that, you sons of bitches? This is Texas. You want to threaten me, you can go straight to hell. You understand that? No one will go to the New York Times or care that it's even admitted that the government's hatching most of the terror plots. Or people will say, what are you doing? Endorsing radical Islam, saying it doesn't exist? I didn't say that. I said our criminal government is arming them and abetting them, protecting them to attack and kill us so they can take our freedoms. That's what I said. Never water yourself down just because someone can't handle you at 100 proof. It's the Alex Jones Show because there's a war on for your mind. CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, Glenn Beck, and everybody else that runs around claiming that I'm saying there aren't any real Muslim terrorists. That's a load of crud, and you know it. What's up, folks? Permanent Patriot. <laughs> the shit just had me fucking cracking up, man. Alex Jones and Steve Quayle. If you guys, if you don't know Steve Quayle, <laughs> the dude in the back of this truck is fucking 100% to the T. Steve Coyle is fucking hilarious. Had me fucking shit in my pants last night and laughing my ass off at the same time. <laughs> you gotta hear some of the stuff that Quayle talks about. So I want to talk with Steve Quayle today about some of the big issues he's breaking down. Civil war. I've been harping on that. The war on police so that they can then twist the police against the public for a war on the public. This is classic divide and conquer. Police versus the people, cyber attacks on banking, Chino, Soviet Axis, and more geopolitically what's happening from all of Steve Quayle's very interesting and informative sources. Uh, he joins us. Steve Quayle, uh, thank you so much for coming on. Well, thank you, Alex. This is a critical point in time. We're about eight days away from the end of 2014, and I, I heard as you were uh, reading some of the questions that we're going to be dealing with, I think the the, the oh issue right now is that that the hardest Money. thing for people to wrap their heads around Money. is that we are under a full communist internal revolution. Now I say that because you know you. <coughs> I wanted to keep on doing that, but I mean it was like a three-hour show, and I only got fucking 15 minutes and it took me all day to do that but put Alex there and Steve in there and keep switching them Steve Quayle's the fucking man speaking of Alex Jones welcome to the real fucking news this is the site now a lot of people hate Alex because he works for Stratford or not addressing God enough, promoting too much, uh, I think it's called Theoism. I don't know. I'm looking for the article that I saw yesterday about it. I'm going to show you. But folks, if it was not for this man, A major, major chunk of the news that's out today, you wouldn't fucking know. No way in hell you would fucking know. I don't know any government agents or people who are a uh, New World Order like that would give out this information. And the t I have not heard anybody but Alex put out the kind of information he does before anybody. I don't mean just before anybody. I mean, this man put shit out years 
before anybody. So I don't even have to listen to Alex anymore. Uh, a few people have been wondering about Prison Planet lately. Why I ain't been posting it. But. Just too much news to keep up with. But. Folks. Alex Jones is a government agent. Who's working on the side of the American people. Okay. He doesn't work for the fucking New World Order. Or Israel. Or the Illuminati. He's just a pissed off fucking government agent. That's all. So he's Bill Hicks. Where does any of those stories lead us to? Why are they even being discussed? Is Jones still putting out the fucking truth? Is he still putting out the fucking news that people need to hear before anyone else is? Then what's your fucking problem? I got a major problem with people who got a major problem with my fucking idols. One of them being Alex Jones. A fucking go through fucking hell for that man. For the, sh for the things that he's opened my fucking eyes to over the years. It's ridiculous. What that man has fucking done in my life. Same thing Martin Luther King. I'm hearing a lot of shit about him now. I just saw a fucking article about it. I think I still got it up. Not too happy. Now, I don't know if this is people just t talking shit or whatever, but... Anyways, real news. You go to fucking InfoWars. Matt Drudge gets his fucking news from there. Governments get their news from Alex Jones. The fucking Syrian government, the Russian government, they listen to Alex Jones. I'm sure the White House does. I don't think they're going to listen to Fox News over Alex Jones. So, military martial law bill sneaked through by Senate. Which is exactly what they had planned with this whole fucking... See, folks, when something happens, anything, you gotta, you just have to force yourself. Don't even fucking look. Just keep looking around. Just don't look at the fucking made the big blinking screen saying watch me. Because they're doing something else that they're trying to sneak through. Sure enough. Just knock something through alright. I'm not even paying attention to this Eamon Bundy shit. I don't really get involved in the civil stuff. But it's weird because it can, uh, it's a, it's a fine line. Uh, they got it up in red. Trump rally and in forward GOP debate analysis. I didn't even know there was a debate on last night until there was like 20 minutes left. <laughs> Chelsea Clinton likes Jeb Bush. I mean, Alex Jones has some incredible information. Uh, if this ain't enough for you, then he's got Prison Planet. Everything here, the movies, special reports and rants, nightly news, and it used to be 15, I think, but now if you sign up, it's just like fucking seven bucks or something. 20 people can log on and fucking watch the InfoWars news or the Alex Jones show, whatever. 20 people. 7 bucks. I've already fucking done it for like 2 years. A long time ago. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't even bother. I mean, why bother when you can... If you know where to look, you can get it right on fucking line. But there's really only a handful of people that post Alex Jones show and InfoWars Nightly News. So I'd like to try to stay on top of Alex. Uh Prison Planet T V man. Here's what everybody must see. I would highly recommend seeing strategic relocation. 
very highly recommend it. All you Agenda 21 folks will love that one. Uh, Blueprint of Mad Men. That's the one I think I showed talking about despotism. Um, or not, not despotism, uh, demo side. Murdered by your government. I have done the numbers. And I fucking suck at math. From what I got, um, today we should have about an extra two and a half billion people on the planet. Those two and a half billion were all killed off from either abortion or, you know, some, some disease. Something the government created. The government made happen. Okay. Folks, you're not going to see movies like this in anywhere. And he's the first fucking one. Where's all the movies? Come on. He's the first one to come out with this shit. This is back when everyone was calling him kooky. It's that kooky conspiracy theorist. End game. while enabling the elites to live forever. Oh, once in place, there is one world government. Once in place, they can engage their plan to exterminate 80% of the world's population while enabling the elites to live forever with the aid of advanced technology. For the first time, crusading filmmaker Alex Jones reveals their secret plan for humanity's extermination. Operation Ending Game. Another good one, American Dictators. When I first saw this, I was like, damn, what a kick in the fucking balls. Did it do much, did it? But man, let me tell you, they were after Jones for a while, threatening him about this fucking movie. That's why he didn't really finish it, so he just put it out. <laughs> Hey, he's a smart motherfucker, man. He's always calm. Like, he'll be talking about crazy-ass ways that they can kill him. And then you're like, why would he fucking talk about that? Well, number one, put it on record. And then when you think about it, you're like, hey, yeah, that's a good reason. <laughs> it's very smart saying shit like that. My recommendations. If you haven't already... Obama deception. Especially for any fucking Obama moron. You know, someone's still following Obama. Thinks he's our Lord and Savior. Police State 4, Rise of FEMA. This is where we're at right now. I highly, highly suggest watching that. Uh, part 3 is. Pretty good. Part two. I believe it's part two or part one now. Oh, well, part three is pretty good though. I like to see the covers. This actually sucked. I think. Don't try it on me. There's even more than that. Watch this. That's right, folks. The only man to sneak into Bohemian Grove and get all the fucking elite slime balls on camera. What the fuck happened here?
Yeah, there are uh, all the police state movies, for sure. There's four of them, I think. Police State 2000, Absolute, and Police State 4 Rise of FEMA are must sees. Not seeing the other one, so. <laughs> Steve Cook. Uh, there we go. Fall of the Republic, that's good. This is good. It's Police Day 2000, I'm pretty sure. Um, all of his speeches are good. Police Day 4, Rise of FEMA. Pretty much already seen that. I suggest relocation. America destroyed by design. See that. <laughs> 